guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Disney video. Today we are doing another restaurant review. This is way, way overdue. This request specifically came from my good friend Jimmy over at Critical Reviews. I've been on his channel a few times before, so I highly recommend it. Um, it is more of a well-rounded channel, a bit of Disney, but also video games, movies, uh, general geeky pop culture stuff. So. I will link below, it is is great channel. Jimmy's a good friend of mine and he said to me a while ago, I need a review of Coral Reef. And I was like, yeah, sure, I've been there a few times, we can totally do that. And then of course I just kept putting it on the back burner. That's what happens. You should see the list of video ideas I have and it just takes forever to get them done. I also saw in general with my last Q&A, um, feedback that somebody requested a lot more food stuff on this channel, which I would definitely love to get more into. I think part of the reason I don't go too heavy on the food stuff here, food stuff, I keep calling it that, I don't know why, because I would not consider myself like an actual food critic of any sort. Um, I do pride myself on having a pretty eclectic palate. Um, I think it's the benefit of growing up in a big city. You get to eat a lot of different things, you're used to that, you're open to a lot of different things. And I do try to talk a little bit about my thoughts on the food in Disney. Um, you know, I think if you want like the most definitive resource ever for food, Disney food blog is amazing, but um, you know, you guys want it and that's so I love to talk about it. And so we're gonna dive into Coral Reef. Now, for those who don't know, Coral Reef is the restaurant that is in the seas in Epcot. Um, I think it is a restaurant that is often overlooked because most people who go to Epcot are thinking about eating a World Showcase, and by all means, you should. There's so many different kinds of great restaurants there, and um, I would highly recommend exploring those. But I do think that as far as the restaurants in Future World go, I think Coral Reef is one of the better choices in that area. Um, Coral Reef is definitely going to have more of a fish menu. That's kind of the whole point of it being in the seeds, though that is not all that it has. And I wanna make that clear because I've gone there with Rob, for instance, who's not a big fish person, and he definitely found things in the menu that he could eat. It is Disney, they will always make sure that there is something for everyone. Um, but obviously there are a lot of fish options. So if fish is your deal, that might be a reason you wanna go, but don't be afraid if someone else suggests it and you're like, eh, I don't like fish. It's not the only thing that you can eat there. Um, and they make sure that there's a well-rounded menu. I believe there's some chicken dishes, some beef dishes, so, and vegetarian, of course, so you've got a lot to choose from. I never find it too hard to get a reservation at Coral Reef because again, I feel like it is not often the most thought about restaurant in, in Epcot. And so it's pretty easy to get in, especially as a solo diner. But beyond that, um, you should be able to easily get a reservation there. And I've never been disappointed in the meals. One of the meals that I almost always get when I'm there, though I should try different things, um, but it always is in my head because it's always been very, very good, is the Mahi Mahi. Um, I believe that is still on the menu today. It comes with this like coconut lime sauce. I love coconut and lime. So if that's not your jam, you might not like the Mahi Mahi, but if you do like those flavors, you're really gonna like this. And the fish itself is always very fresh. It always tastes really good. I've never had an issue with fish tasting subpar there. They do also have a lobster mac and cheese that is really good. Um, they do a really good job at giving you enough lobster in it, but also just the mac and cheese itself is delicious. I feel like I've never had bad mac and cheese at Disney World. Tell me if I'm wrong, if there's a place where that is true. But I feel like in most cases, every time I've had mac and cheese in Disney, it is just that ooey gooey, very satisfying kind. And this is no different. I've also had their lobster bisque. It's also pretty darn good, and this is coming from someone who's eaten a lot of lobster bisque in her life. It's nice and creamy, not too salty. Um, I really, really enjoy that as an appetizer. Um, it, it's, it's just a nice little addition. If you're not gonna have lobster as your main or lobster in your main, um, then I would highly recommend getting a lobster bisque as well. As far as adult beverages go, I have had the Coral Rita, which is, kind of your basic margarita, but like they really do it really well. I've had bad margaritas in my life. <laughs> Too many actually. Um, I always harken back to like, have you guys ever been to like beach or coastal towns and they have those like, uh, you know the margaritas, the frozen margaritas that are like, you just go up and there's like 20 flavors in the frozen machine and they just spit them out and they're disgusting. I think about those when I think about a bad margarita. 
I've never really had a bad margarita at Disney World though, and the Coral Rita is actually very good. It's quite strong, so just a warning, um, you know, depending on when you're having it, lunch, dinner, what have you. Um, but it is pretty, pretty good. Um, I have not had the opportunity to try their desserts. I don't typically go for dessert a lot with my meals. Um, I'm either an appetizer and main or main and dessert kind of person. I cannot do all three. Uh, I just, it's there's no way I get to dessert and I'm like way too full. So I would next trip like to try um, some of their dessert. They do have this chocolate cake that I've heard is really, really good. Um, so I would like to try that as well. As far as the atmosphere, um, I really like it. It tends to be because it's it's sort of an overlooked restaurant, not too crowded. Like every time I've been there, there's definitely been some empty tables. I've never felt like it's been nuts. It can be a bit echoey because you are sitting near big aquariums. Um, it's actually a beautiful view of a lot of the fish uh, in the aquarium from the other side of the seas. So you're seeing the sharks and the fish and the turtles and all of that. If you're lucky, you can get a table right up against it. I actually got one when I was dining solo, which is kind of like funny. Um, Cause I almost felt like I was like, I felt very lucky that I had that seat, but I also felt like people were like looking at me like, what's this girl got this table to herself and she's got it right up against the aquarium. Um, that's not fair. But some of those tables are smaller for two or for four and they put me in a table for two. Again, it was lunch and it was a quiet time of year. So I think they just had the spot and they put me there. You can certainly request it. Um, and if they have it available, they'll do it. Um, I believe you can leave written requests now when you book restaurants you used to not be able to do that like little notes um so you might as well try and if not then you can try at the front desk when you check in you do have to like check in and then you sit kind of in the lobby area and you get called the little you know beeper thing um i've never waited more honestly than 10 minutes for my table if that it's usually very quick there um but yeah by all means definitely request it, especially if you have kids that you really need to have a seat there because it would keep them distracted and interested in what's going on. It's really, really neat. I feel like the food is consistently good. Do I think it's the best meal on Disney property? No, um, but is it just something that's really consistent and I really think like follows through, comes through when I want like a good fish meal? Yes. Um, so, uh, you know, would I rank it in like top five? No, top 10, maybe. I mean, I do go there often enough um, it, it keeps me coming back because I know it's going to be a good meal and it's always good service. Um, so, you know, I, I wouldn't say it is no Tiffins, you know, it is no, um, I think the Spice Words table is a little bit better to me, but it's definitely better than some of your other options. A bit of a more chill, uh, sit down restaurant I find. And I think woefully overlooked. I would say that if you're in Epcot and you've never tried it and you want to try something new, go for it. Would, would I go out of my way for it? Not necessarily, but it's an easy reservation to get and it's still good food. Um, I like to do it for lunchtime. I usually find that that's a great spot for lunch. Um, but if you want to do something a little bit different, you don't want to eat in World Showcase, you feel like trying something new, I would say, I would say go for it. Um, like I said, it keeps me coming back. I've been there like four or five times already, and every time I've enjoyed my meal. There's never been like a bad meal. So those are my thoughts on Coral Reef. Consistently good food, not like some crazy restaurant that I'm always raving about, but I also think that it is one that I know is a go-to that is going to just give me a good meal when I wanna have a sit down meal and not have to fight for a reservation somewhere. This is an easier one to get into. I would love to know in the comments below, what do you think of Coral Reef? Have you had good meals, bad meals, something in between? When was the last time you've ever gone or have you not gone at all? Um, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, you should subscribe and make videos every single week. Um, yeah, I'm going through a lot of your requests. So if you have made any requests recently, stay tuned. You might see that video coming up in the next few weeks or so. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a great rest of the day. Bye.